Welcome to Opinion Not Fiction, the podcast where our opinion may not be the popular one, but it's still our opinion. It's me, I'm your host, L-Town Willie Mack, and we are in the free game studios tonight. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, you know what I'm saying? With the homies that, that never leave me lonely and never been phony. You know what I'm talking about? And as we go around the room, everybody go introduce themselves right in front of me. We got Chef Bob, the ladies' heartthrob. What's going down, Chef Bob? Man, you know, just uh, holding it down, chilling. Holy nine. You know, okay, how was your Father's Day today, man? Great, Shout out man. to Kristen, man. Thank, thank you for the happy Father's Day. She said happy Father's Day to everybody. Oh, I appreciate you, Kristen. Appreciate so, how was your Father's Day today, man? Uh, yeah, I've just been chilling, man. Kinging <laughs> it. I said, how, how was your Father's Day? Oh, it was today? great, man. It yeah. Was great. My yeah. headphones were plugged in. My bad. I was wondering what was going on my father. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was good, man. Oh, they not plugged in. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah cool. my it's bad. Cool. It's cool. No, y'all good. It was cool, man. Just very productive. Yeah. You know, I just kind of chilled on it. You yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just yeah, relax, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nah. Uh, at Chef all. Bob. You know what I'm talking about? The real life king. You know man. what I'm talking about? And we are happy to have you in the Freeze Game Studios tonight. Uh, then next to him, we got the blackest of the black, the blackness monster. You know what I'm talking about? Black J O N E. Jealous ones never eat in the free game tonight. What's going down, young Black John? Um. Uh, I'm good. Speaking of black, though, can y'all see me with this black shirt and black hat on <laughs> behind this black hood? <laughs> uh, yeah, y'all y'all can can't see me. Y'all make sure y'all say something. They can see you. Okay, good. All right. But other than that, though, uh, I've been good. You know, blessed. Happy Father Father's Day to all the good fathers out there. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, you know, we should have took a day of rest. But how was, how was your Father's Day today? Um, it was laid back. It was laid back. Went to the... Uh, Juneteenth, went to June, did, you know, went to the Emma Thomas Park. Yeah. Uh, did some laundry. 
you know, just some chores around the house, you know, good old Sunday. Yeah. You know, so I'm okay. blessed. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. And next to him, man, we got the coldest nigga butt naked in the middle of Jerusalem with mm-hmm. a pair of sandals. Young Phil and MAC, what's going down, man, baby? What's up, baby, man? Giving our honor, glory, and praise to the Most High God and His only begotten Son, Yeshua Hamashiach, man. Long live the king, man. I'm feeling good like a Hebrew should. It's feeling right, baby. Man, just like an Israel. And I know that is right. How was your Father's Day today? I mean, you know, young I don't Phil? celebrate it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just another day. In the, it's just another day in my hood, baby. You know what I'm talking about. But what what will be is it what will be the paganist part about how, about Father's Day? Uh, it's it's not in the Bible. No, and uh, it's, it was made by the world. You know, and the Lord said, "Do not follow the ways of the world." So you know, yeah, we don't celebrate that. Okay, well, you know, um, we'll, we'll skip over Young Phil. You're a father every day. Happy Father's Day, yeah, everybody. Father's day, everybody. Day, man, you know what I'm saying? If you're being a good father and a good mother, man, everybody's going to let you, your, your kids will let you know. You know what I'm talking exactly. about? Exactly. So. You know how, yeah. man. Uh, Ramisha says Happy Father's Day to y'all, and and Rico says Happy Father's Day, ugly ass boys. With all right. my laughing faces, Marvin Franklin says Happy Father's Day. Happy you know Father's what I'm saying? Day. Yeah, happy Father's well. Day to all y'all as well. You know what I'm saying? That's out there in the free game tonight. You know what I'm talking about? And I had that Chef Bob up there for a little bit too long. Yeah, too long. You know what I mean? I wasn't really paying no attention. So, <laughs> so tonight in the free game, man. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to a rant. You know what I mean? Please. And I'm and I'm gonna have it's gonna be a good rant. But the rant ain't coming to the end. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Cause I I you know I done spilt my drink and, and shit. You know, like my energy ain't you know what I mean? My energy ain't right. You know what I'm saying? The energy is off. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I really don't like but you know, but anyways, you know what I'm saying, before we get to all that, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna hop off to this to this free game knowledge, you know what I'm talking about? And Man. um you know, uh, I, I want everybody to take a time and, and think and, and, and come with a, a calculated and, you know what I'm saying, uh, thought out answer on this one. You know what I mean? And this is for this is for any hip hop heads that's out there, any rap at rap people that's out there that, that listens to hip hop and has been listening to hip hop. Um, when was the actual golden era of hip hop? Who was the artist that was on top in your era of the golden era of hip hop? But uh, in, in my era, I'm talking about the golden. Like it, it ain't like after it was there, like everything was just downhill. You know what I mean? Like it ain't just you know. I really don't care for anything other than. To me, the uh, to me uh, the golden era was was more like for me myself. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, for me myself, it was like when uh, when Face and UGK and yeah. A Ball and MJG, yeah, E Forty. You know, I mean, back then when the music yeah. was hitting, probably about like, man, I want to say between 1996 and 2010. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> it was just, you know, it's just you're just not going to get that back. Yeah. Was, Big, it's, was it's Biggie and Pac in that, in that whole Biggie and Pac was in that area. Well, they had died about that time, about, about 96. 90, 95, 96. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, that the, the Pac era was cool. You know what I'm saying? Well, Pac and Biggie was just Pac and Biggie pretty That's much. It. Yeah, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I yeah, mean, it was the, you know, the Nazis. You know, it was still yeah, some yeah, army. Yeah, yeah, some yeah, they they snuck in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, I yeah mean, the Snoop was still relevant. Pop, pop, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 you yeah. Know, yeah. Right. That was a cool era, too. Yeah, that was. Yeah. But the golden era, you know what I'm saying, for me, yeah. it was around between 1996 and 2010, man. That's a that's a long. That's a big time. gap, though. Yeah, that's over a decade. That's how much music done changed between '96 and 2000. That's, that's, that's a big. That's that's, when, that's, that's a when, decade, that's, bro. That's when about my favorites died out, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I mean, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Rico yeah. saying his era, it was Lil John, Eastside Boys, uh, Dirty. The uh the pimp and the gangster. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. Shout out to Rico. What you know about <laughs> the pimp see, and the gangster? You don't know about that see, pimp and gangster. But see, <laughs> even even in, in UGK was still relevant. I'm talking about UGK was was relevant in like ninety, let's say ninety two. Yeah, well, UGK sure. been relevant. They, yeah, though. but what I'm saying is when they died out, you know, I want to say about 2012 when Pimp C died yeah. and they stopped making music. It kind of like. But Bun still lived on. That nigga yeah. had platinum albums after that. I, I love Bun B. Yeah, you do. I love Bun B. Okay, what you about but to what say? But what I'm saying is, <laughs> it's not the same without Pimp C. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. like when it's you have you, you got both it's of them. When you got both, yeah. Exactly. When you got both of them together, it's like, man, that music just be like, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bun first album the, the, was hard. The, uh, that trill. Yeah, trill. That trill was two, hard. Two trill wasn't that bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't Underground Kings. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That double disc they came out with. Yeah. When, you know, when Pimp C came, got, came out, got out of jail, whatever, and they came with that double disc, they Underground Kings. Come on, man. They yeah. killed the whole game. Whatever was out. At that time, didn't even make no, you know what I'm saying, was irrelevant. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, when Black they, John, they dropped it. Yeah, Black John, how you feel about it, man? What, 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 do you agree with Philip, or do you do you see another golden age? Yeah, I think he you got some, some make some good point around that. The 96 uh, yeah. era, that eight ball MJG, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, the Ghetto Boys, that was some, yeah, you know what man. I'm saying, Suave House. Yeah, man. You know, that whole Suave House era. Yeah, um, Mr. Mike, South Circle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Big there was Mike. some, there was some good, oh, but I think goodness. it was, like he said, that was some good days. But <laughs> then, like with me, that you know those those era, like I said, it's kind of I just didn't have one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was you about know, because as the, time, yeah. as the as the times changed, I had another era, golden era. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying, like. When Three Six Mafia yep. came Man. out, Project, but wasn't they in the nineties though? They was in the nineties, yeah. 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. But they still came. That's Brooklyn, and, K. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I West remember. Side, yeah. yeah, you know, around that, that was like the golden. You know what I'm saying? The Tila. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Tila for sure. Tila for sure. That's all. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's all. Yeah. That's that's all like that, that nigga Trip hates Tila. He hates yeah, Tila. Tila really? uh, Trip says Tila is oh, one of the wackest niggas ever. He said, if you just listen to Tila's lyrics, there's some of the wackest lyrics you will ever hear. I couldn't, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Me man, and Trip T- arguing T- about man, that. Tila is a staple in the Swap House. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> in Southern hip hop. Man, he's I, a staple. He is. He is. I love, I love all his albums. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Even the ones that didn't uh, even make it out there, they still hold. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so Bob, do you agree with them? Yeah, or do you yeah, yeah, different? yeah. They both hit. Because when good the point. people come out, when no limit. That was that the was 90s. about in the 90s, 90, 90, 96. I'm about boy. Nah, that was about, yeah, 96, yeah, 97. About 96, 97. I'm yeah. telling you, man. Yeah. 90s kill. I'm telling yeah. you, man. That was just <laughs> hard. Yeah. Yeah, he I'm had an air all by stuff. himself, I believe. Man. Ice cream, man. All the mammals. Yeah. Break them mm-hmm. off. Come on, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, break them off is a yeah. class. Yeah. Even break East Coast, you still got, even now, you still got Wu-Tang. Yeah. Yeah, Marvin yeah. Franklin yeah. say, do or die. Do or yeah. die. Yeah. Yeah. Twister. Twister. Oh, yeah, Twister was. Twister. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. But then he was revived when Jamie Foxx put him on that. Yeah, but I'm just saying that Adrenaline Rush, though. Yeah, Adrenaline Rush. Yeah, that's for that's yeah. from front to back. Yeah. I still got that drilling rush. Right. It's man. still in my it's in my phone. You know what I'm saying? But let's, let's go ahead and turn a corner because you know we stay on music all day. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real, for real. Okay. This was actually submitted. This is a question that was submitted to us that you know what I'm saying that you know was us to discuss on the platform. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the question is when witnessing police brutality, you know, you looking at somebody getting their ass whooped. Do you a, a pull out your phone to record to get the evidence, or b, do you go and try to intervene into that situation? I think b intervene, especially after what just happened. That's, that's think, so hard. Is you probably gonna ass whoop too? I'm sure. Yeah, but that, facts though. But are, the, are you probably going? But then that then it kind of becomes their word against yours a little bit. Not, you know but, but not unless there's other people around recording too. Now yeah, that's that's, just, that's what I was going. That's not to cut you off. No, nah, you good. You need both. For real. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Make sure but the what chemistry is there. What if you're the only one out there? If you do only one out there, you, 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 yeah. out there, you know what I'm saying, then I would do dearly do your best to put record your phone record and set, set it, it up down somewhere to where you can, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Because they want, you want to at least see your side of the story of why you was helping yeah. and why you felt like you needed to attack this police. Yeah, or if why not, you need to intervene. if he shoot you down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it's his word against yours. Sure. Yeah. You're correct. You know what I'm saying? Because you may be, uh, stop, I'm doing a citizen's arrest. 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? They're trying to rescue you just to cover your back. Yeah. To cover yeah. your ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, when you go to the police and you try to retain him, they were like, well, he was doing a citizen's arrest. Yeah. So could, could we charge him? Is this in his right to, you know what I'm saying? To like, that? Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, give me a good look. You know, so I, I mean, definitely would put the camera down if it's just me. Depending on the situation, you know what yeah. I'm saying. If I ain't got time to go hit my phone and I see my brother or some family, you know what I'm saying. And yeah. The police is choking and hauling them out. Then it's just it it is what it is. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But I don't think I can. My drilling and pump too hard, and my love is too hard for my family. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Even watch. I don't care Nobody if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And they handle them like that. What's the real? Yeah, Rico saying, hell no, I'm going to jail, bro. I don't give a fuck why I record when you see bullshit happening. Why not try to help? That's just me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you want to like, help. You want to help. You want to do both if you can. Definitely, yeah. definitely you learn help. your rights and your law. You know what I'm saying? Because police officers, they cannot interpret the law unless they have a bachelor's degree in criminal justice or of some sort. Right. So know your rights. Yeah. You know what I mean? Before yeah. you take action and make a move. Well, me, myself, yeah. I think that um, a lot of people sit back and they do watch because, and they kind of feel helpless because they stuck at the point of they want to do something, but they don't want to pay the consequences. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Correct. What they do. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel like, they, oh, okay, they could shoot me. I yeah. don't want to get shot, but I want them to stop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to go to jail. I got, you know, I got something to do or whatever. My kids need me or whatever, yeah. but I want them to stop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like I kind of feel bad for the people that be in that situation because you, me, myself, I'm, I'm going to try my best. You to know, help. hey, man, I'm going to have to help. Within the guidelines that you can do what you can do. You know do what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. You know without what I'm saying? So breaking the law. Without yeah. breaking the law. Exactly. Try, or try. Like, yeah. it depends. I'm not gonna lie. It depends on who who it is down there that's that's getting nail tight too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it's my son, it's my wife, it's my yeah, brother, it's my family, yeah. it's my friends. I'm I'm gonna have to do something. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna do my people like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, somebody else, I would want them to stop, but you know I, I can't say that I would just. It depends on the degree of how they getting treated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. It depends on the, the degree of how they're getting treated. So, I mean, it's kind of a, I just feel bad for the people who be in those situations because you know they want to do something. But you know they also thinking like, man, that's a police officer. I could go to jail. I don't exactly. want to go. People don't want to make that sacrifice for it. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, well, being, I think, I think what one of the things that, that really has to be like clarified is just like how much authority that, these officers have that law enforcement yeah, really have, have yeah. right, you know yeah. what I mean so understanding that knowing that is is my opinion key yeah, you know what right. I mean so knowing then then the you'll know how far you can react and how far you can go right yeah knowing it's after battle correct you know what I'm saying G.I. Joe look on, on the boys you know what I'm talking about Man. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a turn we're gonna take another turn uh, I hope that answered y'all's questions you know what I'm talking about and then with the turn we're gonna take right now is it's Father's Day Yes. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the room, man, do we feel like fathers are properly appreciated out here in this world of ours? Well, we we don't we'll never know because that's only his family. We we, we don't know how every band family treats him. Right. Correct. And if he's appreciated in in, in in behind those doors of his home. Well let's just look at the world. You how know? does the world view the father? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know the especially the black father. You know what I mean? Do you know you're very involved with Montez, with your son and mm -hmm. everything he have going on? He's very involved. Everybody at this table is involved with their children. You know what I'm right. saying? But that isn't that doesn't seem like that's the narrative that's out here. That's you know, thing. in the in the world. Just do, I'm just saying, do y'all feel like we get our just due on be as being fathers, or do, or do we not even need it? I don't think we need it, but on the other hand, I think it's. I think we, I we, think we get to the point where we do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm we saying? don't need it, but don't assume we that we get don't as need it. As, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, cause it's 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 still a lot of dead beats, but it's I think it's a lot of brothers that's uh, active with their kids. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? One hundred percent. And 
and the outside people see it. You know, they yeah. always see him at the games. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well let's but, let's let's turn turn the hook. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? What did you do for mom for Mother's Day? Uh, my mom? No, your 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 woman. Your 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 my woman. Oh, the one you are uh, raising children with. I didn't do um too much of nothing with the we like say because we don't really just. You know, we don't we it's just celebrate that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, you know what's up. You know, it's a, it's it's a it's it's a day for everybody to say at the same time that we do appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and everybody at the same time, all across the world, we just gonna let the mothers know yeah. that we appreciate, we appreciate you. You know what I'm saying on this day. But you know, like you say, my wife, we ain't really too big up. Yeah, you can do spend time for that. You can't get back. <clears throat> yeah, you know, you're right. I had the same thing. I just gave my kids a little bit of change, like, go get your mom, because that's not my mom. Right. You know what I'm saying? My Okay, sorry, y'all. I had some technical difficulties uh, right then. You know what I'm saying? But who, who was making the last point? I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. You know, we don't do too much, though. That's pretty much all I was just saying. Um, you know. So as a father, you feel like we, we can stand strong. We don't need to, to have the flowers or the appreciation. I don't. Or, yeah, me neither. I don't do it for I a medal. Don't. Right. Yeah, right. I don't, I don't and Phil that. don't do it at all. Do you know what I'm saying? I got up this morning. I went and got my family some aha. Yeah. And we ate. Real and we all took naps. <laughs> <laughs> I got up. Right. Came over here, and my wife did a couple of hours of work, and that was it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, man, we what we gonna do it this time? You know, we had our thirty minute mark, so what we gonna do is take a break real. quick. And then we'll be right back with y'all. You know what I'm talking about? It's opinion, not fiction, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We in here. Miley Cyrus got that SpongeBob boot. Tell <laughs> 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 me. <laughs> Y'all tripping, go. Miley Cyrus built like Gumby with a quick wig. Miley Cyrus is built like a cigarette lighter. <laughs> Miley Cyrus is built like the cheap bar. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that, was good. that was funny to me, huh? Miley Cyrus booty looked like the first and last piece of bread in a loaf. <laughs> No, I can't. I can't hit the eat that shit. I can't hit it. Hey. Oh no! Yeah, I only like the crust on bread, though. You know what I'm saying? So that's just like eating a big piece of crust. Let me see. All right. Um, I ain't got that many more. Ready? Miley Cyrus is built like the bottom half of one of Joan Rivers' legs. Shit. Um. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Miley Cyrus looks like the type of chick to fart, then turn around and try to eat it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got gold on that one. They got gold. <laughs> Hey, y'all, I apologize, man. We've been having technical difficulties <laughs> all day, man. I don't know what the fuck is going on. You know what I mean? But uh, we trying to hold, hold, hold strong and hold fast. You know what I'm saying? 
So we back in the free game studio. That was something for Tristan for Dummies. I don't know. I, it should have played the whole thing, man. You know what I'm saying? If it did, I apologize. You know what I'm saying? I'll run it again <laughs> here in just a minute. You know what I'm saying? But we got to get to to this next question in the free game studio. You know what I'm saying? Uh, while I can. Uh, while everybody. Uh, matter of fact, tell, if you in this studio, if you in the free game right now, make sure you hit share. Share this video right now. I need y'all to share this. Um, now, for my next question that I have for the free game uh, tonight is, how valuable is a man's word? How valuable is a man's word? <clears throat> Go ahead, Phil. I'll let you take this. Your word, your word is supposed to be your bond. So if you tell somebody you're going to do something, you should do it. Now, me, myself. <laughs> <laughs> I be telling people I'm coming, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't show. <laughs> I mean, but if I tell you I'm going to do something for you, I'm going to do that. Yeah. You know, if I tell you I'm going to do something for you, I'm going to do that. You can take that. You you can believe that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put all, as much value as you want to into that. But right. if I tell you I'm going to be somewhere, <laughs> I'm going to come somewhere. Think about it. Five times out of ten... Three times out of ten. <laughs> Three <laughs> times out of ten, I'm going to show up, baby. Yeah, that sounds about right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Three times man. out of ten, I'm going to show up. It's like Jones, man. How you how important do you feel like a man's word is? Oh, yeah, it's real important, man. Thank it's you. real important, your word, man. You know, if, if you ain't got nothing else, if you ain't got a dime in your pocket, if you ain't got a roof over your head, you know what I'm saying? As long as your word is bond and and you hold yourself accountable when you tell somebody something, whether you're going to do it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, if you got even any, just communicating with, period. You know, if you change your plans, if you let them know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it'll get you somewhere eventually. It, it'll, you know what I'm saying? Somebody will be able to see the, the trust value in you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, uh, you know, just the... Um, you know, just a sense of loyalty and your word, just being loyal, mm -hmm. you being loyal to, you know, what you say. And, and, and people need that. And then once people you know, uh, find someone like that, they always, you know, they're getting blessings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People, you know, they get blessings all the time from here and there, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. just because they kept their word. You know, somebody needed a ride. Drop them off, you know, and they check came in here. They might have break you off yeah. a little something, you $20. know. Twenty dollars, yeah. you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, but on the other hand, like I said, like my brother was saying, you know, the, the, the occasions, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes we, you know, we we say we make plans and say, mm -hmm. you know, and, and things happen, and we yeah. don't make it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It does happen. So, but your word. You know, it's, it's the good outweighs the bad. But joy of the times, you say you gonna do something, you know. Yeah, so you yeah. got a few hiccups to be like, yeah. okay, Oops, my bad, yeah, my fault. I ain't forget about. Nah, well, I said I was gonna go over here, man, but I'm yeah, just, I done yeah. been to work all day and yeah. tired yeah, and everything. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. you know, so I make it over there tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying or something like. You that. get it. Sometimes you don't want to yeah. disappoint people neither when people nah, really you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? It's good to show your kids nobody. that for your yeah. kids to right. see integrity. You know, te yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. You, don't you know, want to disappoint you say nobody. you're gonna do something. You know what I'm saying? Do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Try to uh, tell them. You know, be honest. Say I can't. I won't. Okay. It, you know. Okay. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, next day, y'all heard about six nine and and billboard. Uh, Billboard is taking all the six nines. Uh, taking the Billboard is taking them all off. All his accomplishments are uh, they're taking them away. Cause that nigga was yeah, pirating. Buying, buying, uh, buying likes and buying shares and stuff. Nah, nah he was stealing beats. <laughs> he was doing uh, something. Yeah. He was, he was doing yeah. something. I don't know what he was doing. He was doing something. And Billboard said they taking them all the way off. Like all his accolades, stuff, they taking them away. All his accolades for, for Billboard. Yes, for buddy. Billboard. Oh, no, I All those awards and everything. Oh, they gone. Good. That's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> you <snitch. laughs> That's what happens you, know. you a snitch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They just talking about his bullying ways, the way he comes out poking at people yeah, and bullying we, people. Right. You 
do bad, hey, when you do stuff. bad, when you do bad to people, man, you can't man. expect nothing but bad to come back to you, brother. He really be bullying people and shit like. Well, that. you know, not really bullying, you know, yeah. but you know, getting on the Fifty Cent and getting on the, the tracks and talking to people talking crazy. To people. But he ain't got half the size Fifty Cent got. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So he shouldn't really be a gimmick. He trying to pull that gimmick. Yeah, he got to work out. He man. got a SWAT team around him. He don't stay mm-hmm. in the same place at, well, I mean, at, but, at each day. But the He's nigga, but around. the nigga is weak though. I mean, because if you gonna sit there and you gonna sit there and talk that shit about everybody, and then you only talking that shit about everybody because you got protection, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's the only reason why you doing this because you got protection, right? You know, niggas cannot come and just touch you like that. Yeah, if exactly. you was out here in the free world. I guarantee you he wouldn't be talking that shit. He and there's gonna be some young little cats coming in and It ain't gonna be like no OG. Like, yeah, it's hey, gonna be some Nick, little young 16, 17. Niggas is gonna try to take that boy out. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we're having so many technical difficulties, you know, tonight that, you know, we're probably just gonna go ahead in this show. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we'll, we'll pick up at another point. You know what I'm saying? Another time. Um, I did want to uh, go on a rant, but you know what I want to do is I want to uh, appreciate every brother that's sitting in this in this, in this free game studio tonight. You know what I'm saying? These cats have been riding with me the whole time that I've been trying to get this podcast going. And, you know, through the ups and downs, these niggas are still here. They're still in good spirits. they still ready to, you know, get into these topics and, and, and give everything to you. So, you know, I just want to say I appreciate all you boys and happy Father's Day to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, even with, you know, some of the disappointments that we have you know what i'm saying now i do want to tell everybody that is looking on to hear that we did advertise something uh that was supposed to be happening you know what i'm saying but obviously uh certain men aren't men of their word you know what i mean um so we 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 were not able to uh supply everybody with that and what made it so bad is i was actually pushing other people back in order for this particular situation to take place you know shout out to uh the homie paul wall for real you know what i'm saying who watches these episodes you know what i'm saying and, and who who wants to come and get free game to y'all? So you know, shout out to everybody that I've contacted, and we're gonna start bringing in you know more <clears> prestigious <throat> people into the free game. But you know, I'm a little pissed tonight. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna go all the way there because the shit keeps fucking up. Right now, I know it's green, so I know all y'all be able to hear me. And I want y'all to know that I really appreciate every nigga that's that's been rocking with me. Everybody y'all see coming this podcast area, I rock with them. But these cats right here, you know what I'm saying? Especially Black Jones, who pushed me off the porch in order to start doing this podcast. You know what I'm saying? In order to get me to start doing it however. You know what I mean? We had an iPad laying up against a crowbar. Y'all don't even know what kind of grind that we've been on. And I really appreciate uh, each of these gentlemen uh, for rocking out with me for this long. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I'm going to go to Chef Bob, man. You got anything for the people before we get up out of here tonight, baby? Uh, It's not about the prayers. It's about what you do when you get up from it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, John, you got anything for the people, man? Express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Man, man, y'all stay time. blessed, man. Y'all stay blessed out there. That's about it, man. And love your loved ones. You feel right. it, man? You got something for the people, man. man. You know, I got a little bit, man. Uh, keep the commandments of die trying, man. You know what I'm saying? Repent for your sins. Man, we'll see y'all next week. Man, you then for sure. You definitely gonna see us next week. You know what I'm talking about? It's been Peanut Not Fiction. It's been Peanut Not Fiction, the podcast where I pee may not be the popping one. still are. Shout out to everybody on the timeline. Thank y'all for keeping fucking with us, man. Miley Cyrus got that SpongeBob boot. <laughs> y'all tripping? Go. Miley Cyrus built like Gumby with a quick weed. Miley Cyrus is built like a cigarette lighter. <laughs> Miley Cyrus is built like the cheap Barbie you buy from Family Dollar. You know the type that melt if you leave it by a hot cup of coffee. Miley Cyrus is built like them scissors you used to use in kindergarten. <laughs> <Y'all damn. laughs> Miley Cyrus looked like the type of chick that'll hock a loogie and try to kiss you in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Miley Cyrus looked like she bite her toenails. Got <laughs> 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 it, 
Miley Cyrus looked like she'll reach under a chair and pull out a piece of gum and pop it in her mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she do though, for real. He's like, okay. Miley Cyrus is built like a fat knock kneed girl's right stiletto heel. You know how that did me? Swear to God, swear to God, you ain't seen that shit. Hey, yo, how the hell your heels shape like this shit right here? How did you balance it? <laughs> Miley Cyrus looked like she yodel when she orgasmed. <laughs> Miley Cyrus got the type of booty that'll chafe your thighs if she give you a lap dance because her tailbone will be grinding into your femur. <laughs> Miley Cyrus looked like her breath smelled like skull and gummy bears. <laughs> Miley Cyrus looked like her vagina snort when it queefed. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that, was good. that was funny to me, huh? Miley Cyrus' booty looked like the first and last piece of bread in a loaf. like the crust on bread, though, you know what I'm saying? So that's just like eating a big piece of crust. Where is he? All right, um, I ain't got that many more. Ready? Miley Cyrus is like the bottom half of one of Joan Rivers' legs. <laughs> Shit, um, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Miley Cyrus looks like the type of chick fart then turn around and try to eat it. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just a fight 